Here is how the hurricane filter works. The liquid flows into the housing through a tangential entry and is channeled between the outer housing and the inner housing wall. The inner wall rises from the base to just below the top of the housing, so that liquid must flow around and then over the inner wall before entering the cartridge filtration area. This outer flow creates a cyclonic effect, and a combination of kinetic energy and centrifugal forces combine to make dense solids bounce along the outer casing and lose velocity. The tangential entry is located high on the housing to reduce the velocity of liquid flow in the bottom of the outer chamber to promote the settling of these dense solids. Many of the dense solids settle into the outer chamber, thus extending filter cartridge life. There is a separate drain in the housing to bleed off this sediment either manually or with an automatic timed valve. After dropping dense solids into the outer chamber of the housing, the liquid flows over the inner wall and into the filter chamber. The cyclonic effect of the flow continues into this chamber, and it further loses velocity as liquid flows around the filter cartridges. This creates a very even loading of the cartridges and further extends cartridge life. The flow around the filter cartridge creates a flutter effect, which causes particulates to bounce along the surface of the filter before being trapped. This further improves filter cartridge life by ensuring even loading of the filter element. Each filter cartridge is placed over a standpipe that rises to nearly the top of the filter. The liquid flows through the filter element at all levels and then has to flow to the top of the inner cartridge chamber and into the standpipe. This upflow technology ensures that air is expelled from the filter and further increases filter efficiency.